everybody. Welcome to episode 16 of Social Media Education with Joshua the Window Cleaner. I am Joshua Birdsell with Positive Enterprises Window Cleaning, Screen Repair, and Solar Panel Cleaning. Um, I'm making social media videos to help out my networking group mainly or uh, anybody that's newer in business or older in business that might need to know how to get into the newer ways. Um, I do talk about how to download Facebook and just uh, Google. We did Google last week, Facebook the week before. Um, so yeah, so I hope that you've been able to get caught up on all the videos and everything. Today we're going to start talking about Instagram. And so this week we're just going to be talking about Instagram and just the little things I know. Um, personally, Instagram has not worked great for me. Facebook has been much better. But I know plenty of people in other industries and uh, people that actually are in my industry that uh, Instagram has worked very well. So I'm going to show you how to start an Instagram page from your iPhone. You cannot do this on a computer. You have to have a phone to download Instagram. So I don't have an Android, so I can't show you how to do it on Android, but I will be showing you how to do it from my iPhone. So let's go ahead and pull up my, uh, my phone screen right now. All right, perfect. So you want to go into the App Store, look up Instagram. It's going to be right there. It's going to be that colorful purple, red, yellow one right there. Just go ahead and download that as you see me doing there. And then as soon as it downloads, you will be able to click the Open button. So you click Open. It's going to open up, and it's going to ask to uh, create a new account down there at the bottom. You can log in with Facebook if you already have a Facebook, or you can sign up with an email or a phone number. Um, we're going to do email and phone number just for video purposes. Um, you can do your phone number. I've already used my phone number, so I'm not going to be able to do that. So we're going to use an email, and I'm going to do. I'm going to make a Dad the Window Cleaner uh, Instagram for you real quick, just to show you. So I'm going to use my email address. Now, if you haven't created a Gmail account or an email address, you can go back to episode one and it shows you how to do that. So you're definitely going to have to have an email to do all this social media stuff. So we'll just use dad the window cleaner at gmail.com just for video purposes, and we'll go ahead and create it. Um, all right, and then there's going to be a confirmation code that comes to that email. So you want to go and log into that email on your Gmail app, which it should be really easy. I've already shown you how to do all of this stuff. So once you sign in, Go to Dad the Window Cleaner for me. I'm going to Dad the Window Cleaner at gmail.com. And then we'll hit next. Enter in my password. Perfect. And we'll hit next. All right. And then there's a two step verification code. You see the code come up, it already shows up right there. We'll just click that button and hit next perfect so now we'll see my gmail account let's go ahead and click on instagram and we will copy that number right there so just click on it it should highlight copy and then you want to paste it in the confirmation code unless you can remember that code but just to make it easy you can copy and paste add your name um, i would do the business name your whatever it is we're going to do dad the window cleaner like i said just for video purposes i'm just using dad the window cleaner because i know that um, there's not a Instagram called Dad the Window Cleaner. So, all right, so we'll go ahead and create a password. You, uh, I definitely recommend on the password side of things, you want to make sure that you type in the same password for everything and then change that like once a month. All right, so we'll go ahead and put in your birthday and then you will create a username. So, again, for this one, we'll just put Dad the Window Cleaner. And I would do your business name if you're doing this for your business. You can do a personal one too. This can this can work for a personal. So then you just want to click uh, sign up. Sign up as Dad the Window Cleaner. Yes. Click the button that says sign up. Wait on it to load. All right, perfect. Now you can go to find contacts if you want, but for video purpose and time's sake, we're just going to skip it. All right, and then you can add a profile picture. So you can go ahead and do that, or you can skip for now. You can go back and add a profile picture later, but for video purposes, we're going to show you, I'm going to show you how to add one. I'm just going to import one, so I'm going to do a choose from library, and that's going to go to your pictures that is on your phone. So we'll just click on just a random picture here to add just a selfie that I took 
her YouTube. All right. And then you can discover these people. You can follow all these people. There's a lot of famous people that's going to be on here. You can connect to Facebook if you already have a Facebook. Start adding friends like that. So, yeah. So now you see your first post was your uh, profile picture. And all of that is done. So that is all for this video. I just wanted to show you how to create an Instagram uh, on your iPhone. So now you have an Instagram profile if you just did all that and followed along with me. Uh, please, if you could, if you have any questions or anything like that, please just put them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Um, so again, this week is just going to be about Instagram. So episode 17 tomorrow morning will be more about Instagram and things that I know and that I've learned from Instagram and just things that we do. And like I said, I don't get a whole lot of customers. So it's, it's just... You know, to have a profile, it does connect to your Facebook, and it's good to just have an Instagram because you're already doing all the social medias. And like I said, I do know a lot of people that actually get a lot of business from Instagram. I know people that say they get way more business on Instagram than they do any other platform. So it can be done, but most people get directed to our Facebook or our website or our Google, and that's just, just how it's been for us. So everything works different for different people. Anyways, I hope you've enjoyed this video, episode 16, um, on creating an Instagram on your iPhone. Y'all have a blessed day and we'll see y'all tomorrow morning for episode 17. Peace out.